me put my phone in airplane mode. Don't need no interruptions. Look, secret compartment. Oh, we got secret compartments in here. Who the hell's eating Starburst? Sorry. You're good. Hey guys, Harry here. All right, so on today's episode, we're very festive, Christmassy like. She, what does yours say? I says Merry Christmas, and it has a holiday horse on it, and it's bejeweled. Let me feel it. Oh, it is. And we are at Chipotle. Why we're at Chipotle? Because Chipotle sounds good. I usually get my go-to Chipotle bowl. What did you order? I ordered a chicken burrito bowl. Ooh, chicken burrito bowl. I got me a carne asada. Carne asada, chicken bowl, and some and a quesadilla with barbacoa meat. And we are in Denver, Colorado. Now, normally when I come, I just walk inside and order. I like to watch them make my our food, but in this case, we ordered on the app and we're gonna get our food from the drive-thru. I will say, Crystal, this is a pretty big truck. This is the largest truck I've ever driven, and the reason I got it is because I'm trying to look like a celebrity. Yeah. The outside of this vehicle screams celebrity. And I'm trying to get him to sit here and drive and me sitting in the back. But he won't do it. Like a... Like Cause a we have so much trash back there. We're in between hotels. In between hotels. We're going to another hotel now. Because yet again, I was set to stay one week, and guess what? Staying longer. Because he said, oh, come on, Miss Crystal, just stay two more days. Come on, Miss Crystal, we didn't have enough time together. Come on, Miss Crystal, just let's stay here longer. And that's exactly what I said. Are you hangry or are you hungry? I'm getting, I'm approaching hangry. Oh, we have our Starbucks back here. You can't start your day without a nice Starbucks. I'm a white mocha type of guy. What kind of coffee gal are you, Crystal? Well, caramel macchiato. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what macchiato means, but... Neither do I. Splash Brothers Car Wash. I can see you owning a car wash, Crystal. Everybody just pulls up their car. They pay... Miss Crystal, and then you get the car wash. And I'm sitting there, and I got a little money box and one of those little change things right here. Where I go. Ch -ch 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 -ch. The guy that, that says "All aboard!" And All aboard. We have to lather up these lips, though. Is anybody working here? Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm Harry. I'm fine. Harry. Harry. Mmm. Blistex Medicated Balm. Gracias. Cute little bag. Should we sit right here? Sure. Ooh. I could already smell the salsa, the meat. Look at the look at the birds hovering around looking for some food. Those look like those little ocean birds. Are those like seagulls? Large chips. You didn't have to say large. Bowl of carne asada, white rice, fajitas, pinto beans, medium green, hot red, sour cream, and lettuce. Good lord. Yes, that's mine. I will say these chips are staler than that thing. This is your dip. And we have some napkins here because we know we like to get messy. And then Libby. Libby's. It says Libby. Who's Libby? Oh, they got an order. Oh, they probably thought Libby was coming today. Who is that? Um, that's your, your BFF. Or is it my BFF? This for you. I take my tooth out. There she goes. It's, uh, I believe it has salsas here. Oh my lord. All right, let's do a thumbnail. How we're gonna do this. We're gonna open this. 
Let me illuminate this. Okay. It's times like these when you just need to. Okay, thumbnail down. Ooh, let's show them this. Let's, let's give them up close. Oh, Lord, that is a huge quesadilla. This is barbacoa. Look at the barbacoa with the cheese. Look at that. Mmm. Juicy. Mmm. Here you go. Ooh, this is hot. Oh, you got queso over there. Mmm. I don't need this whole thing. Well, you could just take a bite. Queso is hotter than that thing today. You know what? I'm gonna put some salsa on mine. Ooh, hot, damn. Put a little bit of salsa. Look at the look at the, the salsa here. Mm. Oh, look at the salsa. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put some of it on here. Mm. A little spread. Ready? Cheers. 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 I already took a bite though. Oh, sh shoot. Mm, that is good. You like that? It's a little on the saucy side. I'm trying to get catch a feel for the for the flavor profile. Let's try some of this red sauce instead. No. Queso is good? Is it crystal um, approved? Mm-hmm. You wanna try one? Let me try one. Mmm. Chips are a little on the side, but they're good. Mmm. May I have um, a fork? I took all three forks. <laughs> I really like this tomatillo salsa both of them are made with tomatillo the red and the green the tomatillo is like a a sour tomato i think it has like a little sour tang to it don't know how to explain it but when you put tomatillo in the salsa the green tomato man the flavor the flavor profile just it just elevates it mm. 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 this burrito bowl is delicious Mm. How is it? Oh, carne asada, yeah. It's good. Can I try your carne asada? Just mm -hmm. a little piece of it. It said on there the most tender steak that they have. Let's see. Let's see for ourselves. Oh, they ain't lying. I love the fajita veggies here. I got me regular pinto beans. I got black beans. What made you choose the pinto over the black beans? I'm just used to eating the pinto beans, to be honest. Uh, zoom in. Oh, Lord, Barbara. Mmm. 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 Did you get the corn? I didn't get salsa? the corn. You got corn salsa? Mm hmm It's got a little bit of kick to it. It's so good that, that you ignore the kick. Mmm. The spice give you the runs? I know some people it gives them the runs. Spicy foods, or you just or you don't eat spicy foods. What food. do you mean by runs? You know, poopy. Oh look at this. Look at this. Look at this spike. Oh, if I could. You look mean at like that. a diarrhea? Yes, ma'am. 
Mm, no. Mm. It will give me heartburn, though. <gasps> Your festive hat. How will, I, how will people know whether or not I'm Santa Claus if I'm not wearing this? Oh, this is so hot. This is so hot. So hot. We were going to go to this place called Slim Chickens. He's never had it. I've had it one time. I looked at it. Slim Chickens looks just like Kane's chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of Kane's. It's good, I guess, for if you want something quick. But I think it's better than Kane's. You think? Because I don't like Kane's. This is spicy. I got red and green salsa in here. Mm. 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 Does Annie have a little Christmas sweater? She would not wear a Christmas sweater. Well, Annie is very smart, and I have taught her to um, high five. Oh, Lord. She pretty much taught herself how to play fetch. Wait, Annie plays fetch? Annie plays fetch like a little dog. How does she sound when she talks? Sound like this. If I go like this to her, she'll go and stick her tongue out, and which, uh, which really just makes me crazy. I have to get on the furbo later and look at her. I think furbo, that was a great invention. Not only can you check on them, you could give them a treat, a snack. And talk to them. And talk to them. Say, Annie, come here and see your mommy. And she'll come looking. I don't feel like she understands that it's me, though. I think what she understands is that thing, when it starts talking, will throw a treat. Mm. You don't think she puts the, the voice with you? <laughs> I think she knows it's my voice, but I don't think she understands that I am literally on my phone on the other side of that furbo delegating who will get the treats best part about Chipotle is you just get this and put the top on. Guess what? Meal for later. Well, that quesadilla is good. Just a little on the spicy side. Mmm, but at this point, everything's spicy. Hell yeah. Oh, truck drivers love a Walmart parking lot. They sure do. They'll mm -hmm. just pull up and go to sleep in the back of their cab. Do you think you could drive a semi truck? Mm hmm. Yeah, right? I have. You have? I have. Okay, hey, what about parked one? Have I parked one? Well, let's just say my backing up skills are lacking. My drive forward skills, good. Backing up, somebody else going to have to take over. He's, I, I can't do it. He's maneuvering that truck through He's that. looking all over and everything. Making quality moves since 1959. That's what it says. Making quality moves. That's when Miss Crystal was born. Miss Crystal. Do you know what time you were born, Miss Crystal? I do not. A.M. P.M. Would you? I was born in the P.M. Me too, in the P.M. I believe so. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure in the P.M. I was born. Are you a nighttime guy? In general? Yeah, that could be a night owl sometimes. Sometimes you stay up till 3 in the morning every night. At well, best. And then somebody's going to say good morning to you and then you get mad. At the hotel, they, we'd be walking around it in the middle of the night. And, and, the, and he, they say good morning and he, he gets mad because he ain't even gone to bed yet. Last yeah. night we was working out at 2.30 in the morning. 2.30, she was pumping iron, I was pumping iron, we were sweating. If we go back to the hotel room, I mean the room, and somebody said, good morning, and I'm like, man, I haven't even gone to sleep yet. You're like, didn't you see us pumping iron in there? There was a guy next to us snoring it up last night. How did you sleep, Miss Crystal? I slept good. You did? I, I, so I took two of them melatonins <laughs> out like a lamp. Melatonins. Man, I haven't taken a melatonin in a long time. Uh, I'm glad I could just, when I knock out, I pass out, and I dream a lot. I dream more in the morning time, right before I'm supposed to wake up. That's how it always happens. I get really get into a dream right before I'm supposed to wake up. 
that's a biodegradable thing there. Look at that little car like ours, but has reindeer antlers it has on it. Antlers. And on the front, it has a red nose like Rudolph. Little pieces of barbacoa. Because everybody knows the story of Rudolph, the little guy with the red nose, right? And then what happens? Everybody said, oh, look at him. He's got a red nose. He's weird. He's different. Well, guess what Santa Claus did? Santa Claus picked up on this bullying and said, guess what? Rudolph, would you like to lead the sleigh tonight since you have a red nose and it's helpful for us to see? And Rudolph was like, heck yes. And then all the other reindeer at that point were then like, Oh, he is cool after all. Well, it shouldn't have taken Santa Claus to teach them a lesson about bullying. They should have accepted him from the start. Let that be a lesson to you. If you see somebody that's different, whether they have a red nose or something else, don't bully them. Because who knows? Maybe if I bully him, I say, oh, you got a, uh, you got red ears. And then Santa Claus sees those red ears and says, hey, you'd be a valuable asset to our sleigh business, our Christmas business, and puts him on the front of the sleigh machine. Is it a business? Does Santa Claus make money? He doesn't make m money, but it is uh, a business. He does have a LLC. I wonder how he funds it. It's a Santa Claus LLC. I think it's not, I think it is non-profit. Non-profit? It's a non-profit organization, and what Santa will do is is have big donors donate, you know, maybe places like Walmart or, you know, big big companies. Then ta Santa will take that money and pay his workers who are making all the toys and everything. He's got people that read all the letters that come in. Because Santa gets thousands upon thousands of letters a day. And not just during Christmas. I mean all year. All year. This man is receiving letters. I wonder which one is the person that dictates if they go on the naughty list or on the good list. I think that's Santa. He's got the big red pen and he starts checking it off. And I wonder, does he have a globe, like a little crystal ball where he can see what they're doing? Oh, he just knows. He's always watching, they said. Which I think, and I'm going to be honest, that's kind of creepy. You know, when you're going to the restroom, is Santa watching? When you're, you know... I hope he's watching. Playing a video game, is he watching? We don't need Santa to watch at all times. Just peek in every once in a while, Santa, when you want to see what we're doing in our day. Now, if you happen to be robbing a bank that day, and that's when Santa peeks in on you, then, you know. That, that sucks for good. you. That sucks for you, but that's the, call of the, that's the call of the trade, or whatever it's called. That's the risk. That's the risk. If you're going to rob a bank, expect that Santa Claus could be possibly looking at you. So when you're thinking about doing bad stuff, think, oh, what would Santa do? W-W-S-D. What would Santa do? Would Santa uh, put me on the naughty list or the nice list? We don't know. That's why I always do a good job in everything I do. Now, I am wearing a Santa hat. Does that mean I'm Santa? No, I'm an imposter. He is also an imposter. What about the tooth fairy? What about the tooth fairy? I'm missing a tooth. We know what that means. She took it? She took my tooth and didn't leave anything. Apparently there's a clause, and I'm not talking about Santa Claus. There's a clause once you reach a certain age and you put your tooth under your pillow, you no longer get cash. Once you hit 18, and I guess they figure, oh, well, all your teeth have grown in and under going to fall out. Well, there are some people like me where your tooth just falls out for no reason when you're eating a salad. Well, the Tooth Fairy, what's her name? Tooth Fairy? Does she have a name? Tooth Fairy, I guess. You know how to say Santa Claus in Spanish? Santo Claus. Santo Claus. Santo Claus. How do you say elf? Damn, I don't know. Because you're a little elf. Look at you. I don't know how to say elf in Spanish. Man, my, my chest is like sweating. Whoa. I'm hot over her. That's because I got it on hot. I think the, oh, that's why the heated seats are on. I'm over here. My, my <laughs> butt is cooking. I'm about to turn mine on three. 
All right, let's take another bite here. What I like is the Romanian lettuce too. The who? The Romanian lettuce, is that what it is? Is that what it's called? Romaine. Oh, I thought it was Romanian. Romaine lettuce, Romanian. Romaine lettuce, the who? <laughs> the who? I seen an owl this last week about tw two times. Did you hear the, the howl hooting? Mm -hmm. Some people say it's bad luck, good luck. I know some people say it's just a bird. You could be a Mrs. Claus. You look like you could play a good, be a good Mrs. Claus, mm -hmm. Crystal. I can't cook. I don't want to clean up after no man. Mm -mm. And then you wouldn't be able to put up with all the kids, right? Mm -mm. Kids it running around screaming, carrying on. Miss we say, sit down, sit down. Miss Crystal, Miss Crystal. You can read them uh, 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 Christmas stories. I could read them a, a Christmas story, but I don't want them up hollering and hooping and hollering and carrying on all night. Let's give them a Christmas, small Christmas story. Once upon a time, there, there was, was a little boy and a little girl named Alfred and Joanne. Joanne. <laughs> Alfred and Joanne have. were sheltered kids and they always wanted a toy for Christmas but Santa Claus always passed up their house mm -hmm. until one day until one day Santa peeked in and the little girl Joanne was crying saying why does Santa ever come to my house and the little boy Alfred why didn't Santa ever come to our house well it turns out Santa Claus had started to use a new GPS system Oh, right. that's what it was. And in this GPS system, for some reason, Alfred and Joanne's house was not listed on the the thing. So when Santa Claus realized uh, this, he got them every present they've ever wanted and a little doggy. And they named the doggy Buck. Little Buck the dog. Little Buck the dog. And one morning when the when little Joanne and little who? Alfred. Alfred woke up. Guess what? Little Bucky was licking their little toes. And they were full of joy and happiness. And Santa Claus never used a GPS system again. He relied only on his memory. On his memory. Santa has a good memory, would you say? He forgives but doesn't forget. I'd say he he has one of the best memories in the world. To remember everybody's house. In the whole world? In the whole world. And what else? We're talking billions of addresses and this guy remembers it up here. He goes to different weather terrains and conditions to get to your house. All because of Rudolph. So next time you're going to bully somebody about their red nose, like me because I have rosacea, Remember about Rudolph. Remember about Rudolph and how he leads the way to every child's home. <sighs> Gonna bully somebody about how they look and it turns out he's the world's greatest navigator. Shout out to Rudolph. Hey Rudolph. Don't forget to come to my house this year. I'm waiting for you, mister. You're on that naughty list. I'm on the naughty list. You're a naughty little elf. I'm a good little elf. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do a Christmas song. Ready? Lord, we're doing a lot of activities. A lot. Which song we doing? Have a holly jolly Christmas, Christmas and a da year. And da no, this is I don't another know one. That one very good. What about Frosty the, the Snowman? snowman da 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 Frosty man. man. With a corn cob pop and a bucket nose in it. Wait, wait, what Christmas song do you know? Uh, Silent <laughs> Night, Holy Night, All is calm, All is bright, Round yon virgin mother and child. Holy Eve is so tender and mild, sleeping tenderly peace. 
sleep in heavenly peace. That was good. High five. High that, five. That was really beautiful. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And Happy New Year. Ho, ho, ho. Whoa. Merry Christmas. Whoa, that was very boisterous. Harry checking out here. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, peace.